Power Rangers in Space is an American television series and the sixth season of the Power Rangers franchise, based on the Super Sentai series Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. As with all Power Rangers programs, In Space is based on one of the entries of the Super Sentai series. However, due to miscommunication between the United States and Japan as to the contents of the Sentai series, much of the space footage is original to the American adaptation. In Space was a turning point for the Power Rangers franchise, as the season brought closure to six seasons of plot, and it ended the practice of having regular cast members act in consecutive seasons. The theme of this series, and its successor, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, bears little similarity to their Sentai counterparts. <laughs> Synopsis Picking up where Power Rangers Turbo left off, Dark Spectre has captured Zordon and is beginning to completely drain his powers. An assortment of old and new villains praises his victory, but an unexpected figure uncovers his plan, the Red Space Ranger, Andros. Dark Spectre orders the new Princess of Evil, Astronema, to eliminate Andros so he can't jeopardize his plans. Meanwhile, four of the former Turbo Rangers T.J. Johnson, Cassie Chan, Carlos Vallert and Ashley Hammett and Alpha-6 are traveling in a NASADA space shuttle with the intent to save Zordon. They are pulled aboard the Astro Megaship and later encounter Andros. Though initially suspicious and dismissive of the four former rangers, Andros realizes he'll need their help to save Zordon and gives them each an astromorpher. Additionally, modifications allow the NASADA space shuttle and the Astro Megaship to combine into the powerful Astro Megazord. The new Space Ranger team then returns to Earth for repairs and supplies, but are followed by Astronema. The Space Rangers alternate between searching for Zordon and protecting Earth. From the Dark Fortress, Astronema seeks to eliminate them via Ecliptor, who raised her, Quantrons and a variety of monsters. Elgar has also been added to her team, but he remains a comedic bungler. Over time, allies such as Phantom Ranger, Justin Stewart, and Adam Park offer the Rangers invaluable aid, with Jeanne, the Silver Space Ranger, emerging from cryo sleep and joining the team. New Zords are also introduced. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull become assistants to eccentric Professor Phenomenus and join him in searching for aliens. While dedicated to finding Zordon, Andros has another quest, finding his sister, Caron, who was kidnapped when they were children. Over time, Andros discovers his sister was kidnapped by Darkonda, an old rival of Ecliptor's with multiple lives. Much to Andros' surprise, it turns out that Caron is actually Astronema, who was raised by Ecliptor to be evil. Andros is able to convince Astronema of the truth and she defects with Ecliptor's help. Unfortunately, just as quickly, she along with Ecliptor, is recaptured and reprogrammed to follow Dark Spectre. Astronema becomes more evil than ever, as she not only wants to destroy the Space Rangers, but also Dark Spectre. To that end, she unleashes the Psycho Rangers. The five robotic and borderline insane villains possess great power, which secretly comes from Dark Spectre. Every time they fight, Dark Spectre is drained of power and grows weaker. Only through a great deal of effort are the six Space Rangers able to overcome the Psycho Rangers. Soon afterward, the Rangers suffer setbacks that see two Megazords destroyed, which are Delta Megazord and the Mega Voyager. Everything culminates in the two-part finale. 
Countdown to Destruction, where Zordon is nearly completely drained and Dark Spectre orders the villains under his command to attack the entire universe. Across the universe, the Alien Rangers, Phantom Ranger, Blue Centurion, the Gold Zeo Ranger and Co-35 Rebels are defeated and captured. The Space Rangers struggle to defend Earth, but are overwhelmed and forced to retreat. Even Jeanet and his Zord, the Mega Winger, are no match. Dark Honda kills Dark Spectre in a suicide attack, leaving Astronema in command as the Queen of Evil, while Andros boards the Dark Fortress to appeal to his sister. The remaining five Space Rangers engage in one last fight for Earth and are even joined by the citizens of Angel Grove, with Bulk and Skull leading the charge. On the Dark Fortress, Andros finds Zordon, who requests his energy tube be shattered. Doing so will release good energy that will destroy the forces of evil and save the universe, but also kill him. Following battles with Astronema and Ecliptor, Andros has no choice but to comply. The many monsters are subsequently turned to dust by the energy wave, while Lord Zed, Rita Repulsa, Divatox and Astronema are changed into normal, non-evil humans. With the universe now safe, TJ, Cassie, Carlos, Ashley and Alpha-6 intend to settle down on Earth. Though initially intending to remain on Co-35 with their people, Andros, Jeanne and Caron decide to join their friends on Earth. Topic. Production The original pre-Bible for In Space, drafted before the start of Power Rangers Turbo's second half, was placed online in June 2011. The first half includes synopses of Mega Ranger episodes, with a mix of Japanese names and intended U.S. names, and a breakdown of how much Sentai footage was usable. There is a list of weaponry and zords introduced, how often they appear, and the monsters and how they are destroyed. It then goes on to set out the plans for the in-space adaptation. Both Astronema and Andros were originally absent, with the Phantom Ranger finding out about Dark Spectre's plan instead, and Justin was going to remain in the team. Instead of losing their powers and base at the end of Turbo, the Rangers would be given their space powers by Demetria the Turbo Mentor so they could head into space and save Zordon. Their spacecraft would have had a limited power supply and could only be recharged by the power chamber on Earth, forcing them to keep returning, otherwise, they would hop from planet to planet, encountering new and returning villains, and picking up clues for Zordon's whereabouts. Divatox was still going to be the main recurring villain, with Ecliptor as her new second-in-command. Bulk and Skull formed a volunteer citizen force group to try and protect Angel Grove while the Rangers were away. The Silver Ranger was the subject of debate, as Sabin were unsure if they wanted to use him, in space would have seen Karanger villain Exos used as Dark Spectre, he would instead be the monster Goldgoyle for the end of Turbo. The Rangers were going to have a base in Earth orbit called the New Power Dome, it was to be realized by a giant pyramid made of silky material. The walls of silk will change constantly with special effects lights creating the different moods. The space station Astro Megaship interior was going to recycle the power chamber set, footage would be shot for the villain's evil platform, set ahead of time and used as recurring stock footage, this would be the last full season to feature the character of Skull, Jason Narvi. Narvi chose to leave the show to continue his college education. 
He would return briefly in the first episode of the following season, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, so that his character could be written off of the show. He would also return, along with Paul Schreier, for the Power Rangers Wild Force episode, Forever Red. In Space was originally written as the final season for the series, as the ratings began to decline following Turbo. However, In Space ended up being an unexpected success and with fan interest returning, Sabin and Fox decided to continue production of the series. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters Topic. Space Rangers Ashley Hammond the Yellow Space Ranger and previously the second Yellow Turbo Ranger. She serves as Andros love interest and is portrayed by Tracy Lynn Cruz. Cassie Chan the Pink Space Ranger and previously the second Pink Turbo Ranger. She is portrayed by Patricia Yali. Andros the Red Space Ranger, a native of the planet Co-35 and leader of the Space Rangers, he uses his Ranger powers to defeat Astronema and try to recover his sister. He also serves as Ashley's love interest and is portrayed by Christopher Kamen Lee. Jeanet the Silver Ranger, he is kept in a hidden room inside the megaship, cryogenically asleep for two years because he was injured in his last battle while saving Andros. When he was accidentally released, he helped the Rangers out, but is affected by a 2.5-minute morphing time limit, which he is later able to remove by absorbing a bolt of lightning with his morpher. He is portrayed by Justin Nimmo. Carlos Vallert the Black Space Ranger and previously the second Green Turbo Ranger, portrayed by Roger Velasco. Theodore J. T.J. Jarvis Johnson the Blue Space Ranger and previously the second Red Turbo Ranger, and leader of the former Turbo Rangers. He is portrayed by Selwyn Ward. Topic Zords. Topic Allies. Alpha-6 after his voice chip was damaged during the destruction of the power chamber, he received a new voice chip, but does not sound the same and has a different personality. Alpha no longer speaks like a New Yorker and now uses his predecessor's catchphrase. Voiced by Wendy Lee, uncredited. D.E.C.A. The onboard computer aboard the megaship, DECA responds to voice commands and is able to articulate in 3,000 known languages. The ship is constantly monitored by her through cameras located in every room on the ship. She can also perform retinal scans. Voiced by Julie Maddalena. Adele Ferguson owner of the surf spot, the ranger's new hangout, from observation, she appears to have bought Youth Center from Jerome Stone and converted it. Portrayed by Aloma Wright. Farkas. Bulk. Bulkmeyer returning once again from Turbo, overweight and egotistical, but a good-natured goof, he and Skull decide to seek out renowned alien expert Professor Phenomenus when they catch a glimpse of a UFO in the sky. Portrayed by Paul Schreier. Eugene. Skull. Skullovich Bulk's best friend, and his opposite in appearance and mentality, Skull is thin and a tad more stupid than Bulk, to the point that he has to be told what to be thinking of. Skull is best known for his high-pitched laughter. Portrayed by Jason A. Narvi. 
Professor Phenomenus an eccentric yet brilliant scientist who is constantly on the search for aliens on Earth. Bulk and Skull sought him out when they caught a glimpse of a UFO in the sky. The trio's misadventures and antics would often have them crossing paths with the Rangers. Portrayed by Jack Banning. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Turtles were summoned and brainwashed by Astronema to fight the Rangers. Her control over them is later broken, and they team up with the Rangers to battle Astronema's forces. Before returning to New York the Turtles had one request, space surfing on the galaxy gliders. Alien Rangers The Power Rangers from the water planet Aquatar. They have been allies to the Power Rangers of Earth, since Zordon called upon them when Master Vile reversed Earth's time. Justin Stewart TJ, Cassie, Ashley, and Carlos former teammate. After the destruction of the power chamber extinguished the turbo powers, Justin elected to remain on Earth to be with his father. Storm Blaster tracked him down and gave Justin a new Turbo Morpher, to help the Space Rangers. Portrayed by Blake Foster. Corone Andros' sister and the main anti-hero, villain of the series, she was kidnapped as a child by Dark Honda and handed over to Dark Spectre. She was raised by a Clipter, who became a father figure to her. He told that her parents were killed by the Power Rangers, she would come to be known as Astronema, Princess of Evil. She would eventually discover the truth and defect to the Rangers' side for a time, before being captured and brainwashed to be completely loyal to Dark Spectre when she went to the Dark Fortress in order to reprogram an asteroid that Dark Spectre had sent on a collision course with Earth. She was eventually reverted to herself by Zordon's energy wave in the finale. Portrayed by Melody Perkins. Trey of Triforia, Gold ZEO Ranger, wielder of the Golden Power Staff, who temporarily passed his powers onto Jason in ZEO, while he healed after being split into three distinct personalities. Uncredited. Blue Centurion an intergalactic police officer from 2000, he originally was sent back in time to warn Demetria of the United Alliance of Evil's plot, but now helps enforce the law and defeat villains. He also assisted the Turbo Rangers, before departing to Eltar with Demetria to help Zordon. Voiced by David Walsh, uncredited. Phantom Ranger a ranger of unknown origins. He had helped the second Turbo Rangers fight Divatox. He and Cassie share a bond. Though his fate is left unknown, he helped the Rangers gain access to a new Megazord. Zordon founder and leader of the mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Power Rangers ZEO, and original Turbo Rangers. Zordon returned to his home planet of Eltar, only to be captured. Dark Spectre proceeded to continually drain Zordon of his powers while filling his container with lava, ensuring all rangers would lose hope. With Dark Spectre's destruction, Zordon regained his powers, only to sacrifice himself to unleash an energy wave that wiped out the United Alliance of Evil. Voiced by Robert L. Manahan, uncredited. Adam Park Carlos' predecessor and Zack's successor, Adam was the second Black Ranger, ZEO Ranger IV and the first Green Turbo Ranger. When Carlos began doubting himself, Adam helped him through it. Adam also held onto his morpher when Rito destroyed his team's powers, he succeeding in morphing into the Black Ranger once more, though it nearly killed him. Portrayed by Johnny Young Bosch. Topic: Villains. 
Dark Spectre, voiced by Christopher Gray, the Grand Monarch of Evil, who all other villains fear, Dark Spectre appears as a gigantic lava monster. He is the leader of the United Alliance of Evil. He was shown to have the ability to shape shift. Dark Spectre was responsible for the fall of Eltar, he managed to capture Zordon and proceeded to slowly drain his powers throughout the season. He nearly met his end with the creation of the Psycho Rangers, who drew their energy from the evil monarch every time they fought. He was killed in the finale by Darkonda, who had stolen a Velocifighter armed with an experimental laser. With his dying breath, he devoured Darkonda whole before exploding. Astronema, portrayed by Melody Perkins, the Princess of Evil. Astronema is a sinister and ruthless villainess who was groomed as a child in the ways of evil. It is later discovered that she is in fact Corone, sister of Red Ranger Andros. She defected to the Ranger's side for a time, before being captured, brainwashed and given cybernetic implants which overwrote her emotions. As a result of this, her demeanor became cold, and even more ruthless and evil than before. She would later create the Psycho Rangers and link their powers directly to Dark Spectre in an attempt to do away with the Monarch and take power for herself. When Dark Spectre is killed in the finale, she becomes the Queen of Evil. She is seemingly killed accidentally during a confrontation with Andros, but is revived by Andros' tears. Portrayed by Melody Perkins. Ecliptor, voiced by Walter Lang, Astronema's guardian and surrogate father. He raised Astronema to be evil, caring for her like his own daughter. After Astronema learns her true identity, Ecliptor remained devoted to his princess, defending her against the attacks of his own forces. Branded a traitor, he is given additional cybernetics that suppress his better nature and make him purely evil. Upon seeing Astronema seemingly slain by her brother, Ecliptor broke free of his programming to get revenge. Despite his fatherly affection for Astronema, Ecliptor was killed by Zordon's energy wave. Elgar, portrayed by Kenny Grayson, voiced by David Amansky, Divatox's idiotic, illiterate nephew. He was assigned to the Dark Fortress by Dark Spectre, mostly to allow Divatox to move Zordon around the universe without his bumbling threatening to ruin things. Killed by Zordon's energy wave. Darkonda, voiced by Steve Kramer, a bounty hunter who was responsible for kidnapping Corone as a child. Sadistic and treacherous, Darkonda was a rival to Ecliptor. He was given as many lives as a cat is said to have, but managed to lose all but one though bungling or being defeated. He planned to kill Dark Spectre with the missile intended for Earth's destruction, but was swallowed by the evil monarch before he perished. Quantrons, Astronema's footsoliders. Appearing as silver robots with blades as their primary weapons. Like the cogs before them, they pilot vehicles for attacks. Craterites, foot soldiers from the Astro Megaship Simudex training program. A lightning bolt once hit the megaship while TJ and Ashley were doing a session, causing them to become real and hide amongst the people in Angel Grove by disguising themselves as humans. After fighting the Rangers, they then merged into a conglomerate version of themselves. After being defeated by the Astro Megazord, they were once again part of the Simudec program. Piranatrons, Divatox's foot soldiers from Power Rangers Turbo. Topic: Psycho Rangers. 
The Psycho Rangers are five evil rangers created by Astronoma as part of her plans to destroy Dark Spectre and originally drew their energy from him, who felt the drain more strongly if the Psychos fought hard. Though stronger than the Power Rangers, the Psycho Rangers were impatient, could not work together, and unwilling to follow Astronema's plans, leading to them being destroyed by the Space Rangers before Dark Spectre was. When grown, their true monster forms were revealed. As spirits, they sought a way to return to physical form, this led them to the Lost City, where they used a digitizing device in reverse to become real again. However, the Rangers digitized them into data cards, the cards later ended up in Deviat's possession, who revived them in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, but they were again destroyed by both the Galaxy and Space Rangers. Psycho Red portrayed and voiced by Patrick David Psycho Red was the leader and the most powerful of the Psycho Rangers, as demonstrated when he faced all five Space Rangers in battle without aid. He was also the most impatient of the Psycho Rangers and became more and more frustrated when Astronema would not let them destroy the Space Rangers. Though each Psycho Ranger wanted to destroy their Space Ranger counterpart, Psycho Red was the most obsessed with doing so, even jeopardizing nearly successful plans. His monster form was a flame-like monster. Psycho Red was destroyed by the powered-up V-3 missile attack from the Mega Voyager. Psycho Black portrayed and voiced by Michael Mays Psycho Black was created as the evil counterpart of the Black Space Ranger. Of the five, he was the most level-headed and least rebellious. He wasn't too happy with Astronema's strategy, but followed her orders because he was afraid of being destroyed if he rebelled. He tended to disagree with Psycho Red, finding him too irrational. He stopped Psycho Red from killing Andros at a time when Red was refusing to obey Astronema's orders, angry that Red wanted all the glory for himself. His Psycho Monster form was a rock-like monster who can use a rock-like tentacle. He was destroyed by a V-3 missile attack from the Mega Voyager. Psycho Blue, voiced by Wally Wingert, Psycho Blue was designed to destroy the Blue Space Ranger. He had a seemingly unstable and insane personality, not unlike a raging psychopath. On one occasion, he beat TJ so hard that TJ had to be put in intensive care aboard the megaship. Over time, his obsession with his counterpart got the better of him, to the point where he refused to give up when he faced five Blue Rangers the other four main Rangers had re-colored their costumes to mimic the Blue costume. He rushed into battle, taking out four Rangers, but was eventually overpowered by the Blue and Silver Rangers. His psycho monster form is an ice-like monster with freezing powers. Psycho Blue was destroyed by the winged Mega Voyager's V-3 missile attack. Psycho Yellow portrayed and voiced by Camara Walton Psycho Yellow was the loner ranger, she did not participate in battle as much as the others did. She preferred to let others do the dirty work while she claimed victory. She even double-crossed Psycho Pink, using her for her own scheme. Psycho Yellow was also able to infect the Mega Voyager and force it to fight against the Mega Winger and Delta Megazord after transforming into a computer virus. Psycho Yellow was a spider, hornet-like monster, and was destroyed by the energy that was absorbed from the Psycho Monster's attack, which was then used to fire an ultra-charged V-3 missile attack. Psycho Pink voiced by Vicky Davis Psycho Pink was the least fleshed out of the Psycho Rangers, though at times she appeared to be the most aggressive of them. 
When Astronema decided the Psycho Rangers would take on one Space Ranger at a time, Psycho Pink was selected to fight first. However, she went in a secret alliance with Psycho Yellow that ended abruptly when Yellow betrayed her. The Pink and Yellow Space Rangers used this to their advantage and defeated Psycho Pink. In her monster form, Psycho Pink was a plant-like monster, and was destroyed by the Mega Voyager's V-3 missile attack. <laughs> monsters The monsters used in this season work for Astronema. The monsters are adapted from the monsters that are featured in Denji Sentai Megaranger. To make a monster grow, Astronema would give orders to fire the satellizer at the monster making it grow. Manta Menace, a stingray monster occasionally fought on the Simyadec. Electrotramp voiced by Blake Torney Electrotramp is an electrical monster that Astronema used to draw out the rangers to have her mesmerized teenage mutant ninja turtles help them defeat him. In battle, he summons large spheres of electricity which he then throws at his opponents. This monster was destroyed by the Ninja Turtles. Electra Tramp is a hybrid of two monster suits, it has the head of Oranger Monster Bara Police unused in Power Rangers ZEO and the body of a Varox. Clawhammer voiced by Kim Strauss. Clawhammer is a shrimp monster from the planet Calderon who can project an energy blade from his claw. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Voltage Hog voiced by Kirk Thornton. Voltage Hog is an electrical monster that can drain electricity from power lines and use it in its tentacles to fight its enemies. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Elephant Titan, voiced by Michael Sorich. Elephant Titan is a titanic elephant monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Waspisable, voiced by Ken Merckx. Waspisable is a kind-hearted wasp monster. He was able to project powerful energy blasts from his eyes and teleport in a little ball beam. After helping to defeat Sting King, Waspisable planned to do good where he started by retrieving a girl's balloons that drifted into the air. Waspisable is a recolored version of Grumble Bee with a buck tooth and different wings added onto it. Sting King voiced by Bob Pappenbrook Sting King is a robotic bee monster partnered with Waspisable. He could fire a rapid series of lasers from his stinger arm or release a swarm of bees. When in space, his blasts can affect an entire city. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Crocovile, voiced by Tony Oliver. Crocovile is a regenerating crocodile monster used by Astronema to distract the rangers while Dark Spectre whisks Zordon far away from them. Crocovile was capable of duplicating himself, one with a crocodile head for a left hand and another with a crocodile tail for a right arm. This monster was destroyed by the Astro and Delta Megazords. Destructipede voiced by Mike Reynolds, an illusion-casting centipede monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Power Driller voiced by Kirk Thornton, a rhinoceros-like drill monster summoned by Destructipede. When he walked, he created earthquakes. This monster was destroyed when Destructipede was destroyed. Firog, voiced by Ezra Weiss, a toad monster summoned by Destructipede. This monster was destroyed when Destructipede was destroyed. Behemoth, voiced by Richard Cancino, a moth monster summoned by Destructipede. 
This monster was destroyed when Destructipede was destroyed. Mama Mite voiced by Jackie Marchand, a termite monster. This monster was destroyed by the Spiral Sabers booster mode and the Quadrablaster. Termitus voiced by Dave Mallow, a soldier termite themed monster that was formed when the cloud of Mama Mites termites combined. Termitus could eat through the ranger's weapons and has the ability to separate itself into a cloud of termites in order to evade the ranger's attacks. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Beryllian Bug voiced by Kim Strauss. Beryllian bugs are insect monsters that once attacked Co-35 turning whoever it stun into the scorpion-like beryllian bug monster forms. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Mutantris voiced by Brett Walkow, a giant squid-like monster grown from a portion of the giant mutated Darkonda. He could fly through space and blast lasers from his forehead. This monster was destroyed by the Mega V1 and V3. Lionizer voiced by Ken Merckx, a robotic lion monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Mega Voyager. Body Switcher voiced by Ezra Weiss, a body switching bat, Grim Reaper monster used by Astronema. On a related note during Body Switcher's demonstration of his abilities, five of the monsters Body Switcher turned into were Beetleborg's monsters Rocket Man, Cataclaws, Lottamugs, Unctuous, and Firecat. This monster was destroyed by the Mega Voyager. Lunatic voiced by Bob Pappenbrook. Lunatic is an antlion monster from the planet Cadix that had battled the Space Rangers including the Silver Space Ranger. Lunatic spoke a strange alien language, unique to most characters in Power Rangers. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Crocotoxes, voiced by Michael Sorich, a breed of toxic eel monsters, one red, one blue, created by Darkonda on Decetta 5. The Crocotoxes toxin gave people black spots when they were in the water. One was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord and the other was destroyed by the Silver Ranger. Praying Mantis, voiced by Dave Mallow, a robotic mantis monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Mega Voyager. Destructoid, voiced by Ezra Weiss, an unspecified wild beast monster that turned on Astronema when she started berating it for failure. Jeanne saved her. Destructoid was originally featured on Beetleborg's Metalix as Mole Monster, but with a different hairstyle. Horror Bulls, voiced by Brad Orchard, a set of bison monsters used by Ecliptor. The first monster was destroyed by the Spiral Sabers booster mode and Quadrablaster. The second monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Coralizer, voiced by Tadahiro Nakamura, a coral monster used by Darkonda. He infected the Co-35 rebels with corals to grow on them on the planet Centaur B. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Lizwizard, voiced by Ezra Weiss, an electrical chameleon monster used by Astronema. His long tongue enables him to switch places with whoever is wrapped up in them. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Batarax, voiced by Richard Cancino, a sonic-emitting bat monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Spiky, voiced by Bob Pappenbrook, Spiky is a cactus-based monster with sharp claws on one of his hands who was created by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the Mega Voyager. 
Frightwing, voiced by Tony Oliver, a condor monster used by Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the winged Mega Voyager. Owl Monster, voiced by Brad Orchard, a robotic owl monster. He could fire light blasts and lasers from his eyes in battle. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Megazord. Data Scammer, voiced by Richard Stephen Horvitz, a robotic data gathering lizard monster used by Astronema. He could emit blasts from his mouth and scanned information from the Power Rangers for Astronema. This monster was destroyed by the winged Mega Voyager. Jakarik, voiced by Lex Lang, an anglerfish monster from the planet Turna who was the former master of Seymour. He had a flower on his head that was capable of turning anything into stone. This monster was destroyed by the Astro Delta Megazord. Vaxacker, voiced by Richard Epcar, a robotic vacuum-themed monster that was used to abduct people to Secret City. This monster was destroyed by the Mega Voyager. Tankenstein, voiced by Derek Stephen Prince, a powerful shape-shifting mechanical entity used by Astronema. He could regenerate himself as well as electrocute anything with hidden cables. This monster self-destructed in order to destroy the Mega Voyager. Topic: <laughs> United Alliance of Evil. Villains from previous series also appeared as members of the United Alliance of Evil where they were gathered by Dark Spectre. Besides Astronema's group, information about these recurring villains can be found in the following articles. Lord Zed and Rita Repulse's group, the first enemies of the Power Rangers. Lord Zed, portrayed by Ed Neal, voiced by Robert Axelrod, he took the news of the Turbo Power Rangers defeat well, only being afraid of Rita's reaction. Lord Zed and Rita later attacked the Vika Galaxy where their army fought the Gold Ranger. When Zordon's energy wave was released, Lord Zed and Rita were purified into humans. Rita Repulsa, portrayed by Carla Perez, voiced by Barbara Goodson, an old acquaintance of Divatox. Rita was left shocked by the news that Divatox had defeated the Power Rangers. Lord Zed and Rita later attacked the Vika Galaxy where their army fought the Gold Ranger. When Zordon's energy wave was released, Lord Zed and Rita were purified into humans. Galdar, voiced by Kerrigan Mayan, he partook in the attack on the Vika Galaxy where he used his attack to subdue the Gold Ranger. When Zordon's energy wave was released, Galdar was reduced to sand. Squat, he made a cameo during the attack on the Vika Galaxy. Finster, voiced by Robert Axelrod, he was seen at Dark Spectre's party on the Cimmerian planet and during the attack on the Vika Galaxy. Master Vile, Rita Repulse's father. He was only seen with Blue Globor at Dark Spectre's party on the Cimmerian planet. Z Putties, the foot soldiers of Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. Tenga Warriors, the crow-like foot soldiers of Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. They were only seen at Dark Spectre's party on the Cimmerian planet. Machine Empire, an empire consisting of robots and enemies of the ZEO Rangers. They and General Havoc attacked the Phantom Rangers homeworld. When Zordon's energy wave was released, the Machine Empire was reduced to sand. King Mondo, voiced by David Stenstrom, the King of the Machine Empire. Queen Machina, voiced by Brianne Siddle, the Queen Consort of the Machine Empire. 
Prince Sprocket voiced by Barbara Goodson, the son of King Mondo and Queen Machina. Clank and Orbis voiced by Oliver Page and Barbara Goodson, the aides of King Mondo. Cogs, the foot soldiers of the Machine Empire. Quadra Fighters, the octopus-themed jet of the Machine Empire that are piloted by Cogs. Divatox's Space Pirates, the enemies of the Turbo Rangers. Divatox, portrayed by Hilary Shepard Turner, the leader of the Space Pirates and Elgar's aunt who becomes a rival of Astronema. She later led her army to fight the alien rangers on Aquatar where she is disappointed that Astronema succeeded Dark Spectre. When Zordon's energy wave was released, Divatox was purified into a human. Rygog voiced by Lex Lang, Divatox's second in command. Portu voiced by Scott Page Pagter, Divatox's technical advisor. General Havoc, voiced by Richard Cancino, Divatox's brother. He accompanied the Machine Empire in attacking the Phantom Rangers' homeworld where they were opposed by the Blue Centurion and the Phantom Ranger. When Zordon's energy wave was released, General Havoc was reduced to sand. Piranatrons, the foot soldiers of Divatox. Putra pods, the stegosaurus-like foot soldiers of Divatox. One Putra pod was with Divatox's space pirates during Dark Spectre's party on the Cimmerian planet. Topic: <laughs> Episodes. Topic: <laughs> 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 Comics. During the events of Shattered Grid, the Space Rangers are attacked by Draken and his forces. Andros somehow managed to escape, while TJ was captured. According to Andros, Ashley, Cassie, and Carlos were all killed in the attack. Andros arrives in the world of the mighty Morpin Power Rangers universe barely escaping Dracon's forces after seeing where he is holding all the captured rangers he has accumulated across the universe. He is in close talk and strategy with the other rangers as Corone watches from the shadows, unsure of how to approach her brother. After some encouragement from Jen Scotts, she approaches Andros, who is overjoyed to find out that eventually his sister was saved by him and the other space rangers. It has been revealed that Andros will join a team of rangers formed across the various universes in the follow-up to Shattered Grid in Beyond the Grid. Alongside the Ranger Slayer, the Magna Defender, Cameron, Tanya, and the as-of-yet-unrevealed Dark Ranger. <laughs> 